Hi, thanks for coming by PineCreekMusic.com or our YouTube channel uh, for Pine Creek Music. Um, today we're looking at a fiddle, uh, a violin, which is intended to be for students. Now, the reason we're, we're checking this out is uh, a lot of kids in school, um, even, you know, high school, you're studying violin, uh, maybe you're in the orchestra, and you go and you rent a violin. You rent it for, you know, anywhere from 15 to 20 or maybe as much as $40 a month. And at the end of the time, you give the violin back and you still don't have a violin. You know how to play it, but you still don't have one. And you spend a, quite a deal of money uh, during the course of that time. So we were curious, what about these Chinese violins? that you see on certain websites, uh, certainly on eBay, for example. Um, so we acquired one. This one is uh, supposedly by a company called Sports Club. Uh, I sometimes wonder if they aren't all um, made by the same places, but they do use uh, different types of wood. So this particular uh, violin comes in one of these semi-rigid cases, which is, uh, they're actually quite nice. There's a Velcro here. Um, it has backpack straps, which makes it real easy to carry, especially for a student. It's got a handle here, um, and uh, there's even a pocket here for you to put accessories in. Uh, just, it, and it's actually quite nicely made. Uh, it's actually a pretty decent little case. It's got rivets here. Uh, let's open it up, and we'll look at the violin itself. This is this is pretty much a standard case. You see these with just about every inexpensive violin, at least that's sold on the market today. Um, the violin itself it comes with the bow. There's a little there's room for two bows. It's a little clip on. This is a I don't know. This might be. might be aluminum no no it actually it, I don't know it feels like wood uh, let's see how it flexes it flexes like wood huh that's actually pretty nice and these violins generally go for um, somewhere between 70 to 100 US dollars we happen to get this one for 40 dollars you know, which is for a lot of people is two months rental for their their kids um, violin at school. There's a little pocket here. It came with two different rosins. Um, these particular rosins uh, this is uh, design something Italian violin, viola, cello, and bass. Um, my experience with these is they're they're already cracked. They're kind of brittle. Um, they are quite usable. Let's see, this one's actually falling apart from just from shipping. Um, so we'll probably get something to replace those. But rosin's not expensive, so that's not a big deal. And there's a nice little place to keep your rosin. Nice little. It's even got a little. You could put something in here and hold it in place. Nice little polishing rag, uh, some silica packets to keep everything nice and dry, which is not necessarily the best thing, but um, some extra violin strings, model Antonius Stradivarius, yeah, okay, AstonVillaMusic.com, okay, we'll check that out. And I would assume this is the bridge. And it is. Looks like the right shape. It's got little notches for the strings. The long, I can't read that. Bay long 
Jang. I don't know. It's a Chinese made um, violin, so I assume that's a Chinese made uh, uh, bridge. And now this particular violin um, is supposed to be, this is kind of better wood than some of them. This has got uh, some spruce. This is Velcro. There's a Velcro strap here to hold this down when it's in the case so it doesn't flop around. That's very good and very important. Um, well, we have something else here. This is You can see all of that. Aston Villa. Uh, Lade Music. L A D. I need to hold that up. Maybe it'll focus. L A D E Music.com. Aston Villa. They make violins, violas, cellos, and double bass. Double bass was my instrument. That's how I'm. Um, use and maintenance manual. <laughs> That's the use of maintenance manual right there. I recommend you go on YouTube, check them some things out. Uh, this is how you will get a new stringed instrument with the strings like this. They want it loose so that it's not exerting pressure on the violin uh, while it's in shipment. It's got a nice little chin rest here. There's some cardboard covering the fine tuner and the, this is to make sure that it won't this won't scratch which is that's a good idea uh, again while it's in transit um, this one's not real heavy the tuning post appears to be exactly where it should be uh, which is just behind where the bridge is going to go and the bridge goes Right across, direct, perpendicular to the strings, directly through, across between these little notches here. So it should sit, there's a knot, this notch slightly higher than that one. It should kind of sit in between that, directly across, vertical. We'll put that in in a little bit. We won't make you watch us do that. But, um, again, we, we bought this on eBay for $40. Um... It seems like a very nice little violin. Um, this, I mean, it's not, you know, you're not going to go play at the Boston Symphony with this. Uh, at least I wouldn't expect you to. Maybe you could, but um, I wouldn't expect you to. However, um, it's not shabby at all. Resonates nice. This looks like a plastic nut here. There's a little, uh, I don't know if that's going to focus. I don't know if you can see that right in there with the, just the nut. See, it's a little messy there. These are the little, some little details. And actually, that's the only detail I see that's kind of off. Um, that tuning peg could be in there more. Actually, all four of them could. Um, the way you would fix that is you would uh, re remove the string, take the tuning peg out, just drill it out very slightly. Um, if you have a round file, maybe even. Just enough so that what you really want is you want this to just come up even flush with this side. And it doesn't quite do that. Um, other than that, it's not it's not a half bad uh, looking violin. So let's um, let's set it up. I'm gonna put the bridge in. We'll tune it. We'll take a while to tune it. I'm sure because these are gonna be new strings and they probably haven't stretched out. Um, I do see one problem. One of the things you want on your strings. Man, I have to hold this to. I have to make sure that I'm, I'm tr trying to make sure you can see this one. One of the things you want on your your E string. That's this 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 string here is the E string, the smallest one. Um, there should be a little 
tube on the string itself, and there isn't one on this, um, that you can put on the bridge. That helps keep it from cutting into the, the bridge when we put it in place and uh, allows it to, uh, to just kind of ride there uh, without, because without, it's such a thin wire. This, is, this uses steel strings, so um, it's a very thin wire and you don't want it to cut into the bridge because that's just going to make it uh, fail sooner. This one does not have that, so that's not a problem with the violin, that's a problem with the strings. So one of the things you might want to do with a cheaper violin like this um, is just, you know, make sure you got decent strings on it. Um, you could always take it to a music store. Uh, one that has a luthier could probably, uh, which, which is, you know, for guitars. And you're not going to find as many people who are adept at uh, violins. But if you find a luthier, guitar luthier, that is um, uh, used to working on violins, he could probably set this up very quickly. Um, the only other thing I notice is the, the little lines in the, in the print here. I think they're trying to make them look kind of faded. Um, they now they look like they're a little bit worn, worn out in places. Again, I don't know if that comes through on this camera. I'll try to get a little closer. Let's see. Right here. Um, but it's actually not a bad effect. I think maybe they were going for that. Oh, maybe not. It's not like that on this side. Uh, but other, you know, that's a that's a pretty small detail. Um, so we'll set it up, and uh, we'll let you know what we think. Um, and if we get it if we get it going really good, um, we can play a little something on it. We'll um, we'll do a second video. But uh, right now, I would say, look, if you have a, a kid in high school or middle school. Uh, or even elementary school if you're lucky enough to be in a progressive city that that's really paying attention to the music program um, you could do a lot worse than this little violin that usually goes for 70 to 100 but we got it for 40 on on eBay with the case and that included shipping I mean my heavens introduce your kid to music why not you know it's it, it costs the same as going out to a movie. All right, that's uh, PineCreekMusic.com. Uh, looking at a an inexpensive. I don't want to say cheap because I'm not sure that this would classify as cheap. It's just inexpensive. Um, Chinese violin. Thanks for coming by. Okay, so we're back. We've got the we've got the violin set up. Uh, we ran into a couple of issues. Um, the pegs uh, were in fact not far enough in and they were slipping a lot so we had to push on them not too hard gently push push them in while we uh, tuned the violin um, that was necessary to get them to stop slipping but they did stop slipping so uh, you know we didn't we didn't need uh, peg oil or anything like that or peg drops rather um, and uh, the first thing that happened of course uh, that was interesting was the E string, the, the well, you can hear that, it's actually got very nice tone and the sustain is quite interesting, I mean for, for this is a forty dollar guitar folks listen to that sustain, I mean it's it's just if you can hear that I, it, it, I mean I'm very impressed um, a couple of things uh, if I was going to keep this guitar or guitar at this violin um, I think maybe I would replace the tailpiece or at least put um, fine tuners and the other three pegs um, with with these inexpensive pegs um, yes I was able to get them to stop slipping but it's very difficult to get the exact to, to, to get right on 
uh, tuning wise and we were using if you go look at our review for the a ARC ET01 uh, uh, clip-on tuner we were using the clip-on tuner we put it on one of the pegs and uh, used that to tune it and it's it's extremely accurate so um, the issue you're gonna have is trying to, to trying to dial it in with the pegs is actually pretty difficult if you're not a concert violinist with a really expensive violin it's just hard to do um, the fine tuner we had on the E string here worked extremely well we were able to just very slowly dial it just perfectly in um, so I, I think um, actually there's nothing wrong with this tailpiece at all I think what I would do is I would simply get um, you can get a set of four of these for I don't know like five or six bucks um, go to musicians friend or um, one of those places and uh, you'll get them uh, you, you might even find them at reverb.com follow the link on, on the site and see if you can find some there um, pop those in there uh, they literally just you just take the the screw out or the the, the top of this is a screw just pop that out um, it just slides in there uh, hold it in place put the screw back in and then pop the string in that instead and um, boy what a difference trying to tune it up but again if you've got a kid in school um, you know if, if you're one of the the, the people who, who lives in a school district that, that values uh, music in, in schools and I hope I hope you are because it's very important 40 bucks you know 70 to 100 is the is the normal price but we found this for 40 comes with the case comes with this is a wood I was I was surprised this is a wood bow it I could learn to play violin on this um, if they were able to teach me to play string bass I'm sure I could, I could be taught how to play how to play a uh, violin but um wow um these are made I think the company is Aston Villa it's a Chinese company um so I don't know what its name really is that's that's the English name they use um this one was uh, supposed to be labeled although I don't see it I don't see the brand anywhere listed as sports club uh, we got it off of eBay for, uh, for something called sports club uh, there's a company called Amun a m m o o n uh, we have one of their guitars that we're currently evaluating um, uh, they make them as well they use a different wood um, this one is I believe spruce and this is a um, ebony uh, fretboard well, it's not a fretboard, um, but um, fingerboard, excuse me. Again, I, I get guitars in my head, I guess. Um, so it's a it's an ebony uh, fingerboard. Um, the, the wood is spruce. It's very light. It's not that thick, as you heard, hopefully. Um, it has it has great sustain. I think the sound is. I find there's nothing wrong with that. I could learn. I, this is a perfectly good instrument to learn to play violin on. So, um, this is going on a recommended list. Uh, we'll try to find some links. We'll put them up there uh, to the same, the exact same fiddle or uh, violin if if we can find the same one. Uh, we'll, we'll include links in this article um, but it's worth taking a shot on one of these inexpensive um, Chinese guitars or there I am again with guitars with the violin because um, uh, you're gonna pay so much to rent an instrument that at the end you have to give back why what why why spend all that money you know if, if you can find a deal like this uh, we even got this was delivered in about a week maybe yeah just over a week I think it was seven or eight days uh, to get this delivered it was forty dollars and seventy seven cents that included shipping 
everything I need is here except the you know violin for dummies book um, and I'm ready to go so thanks for tuning in we recommend this product